Hi, I'm T. Robert Puccini, Technical Service Coordinator for Laguna Clay Company. I'm here today to show you how to install the Power Arm Jigger Assist to your potter's wheel. Here are some of the tools that will be helpful when installing your power arm. A mallet, a flathead screwdriver, a 4x4 wood block, a 12mm and 14mm combo wrench, or a half inch and 9 16 inch combo wrench. You may also find a level helpful. Start by unplugging the wheel. The first step is to install the power arm bracket using clamps inserted into the bracket and secured around the legs of your potter's wheel. You will install two brackets, one at the top of the legs and a second bracket about four inches lower. Insert the clamps into the bracket draw them together on the back side and insert the threaded bolt, hand tightening the nut. Once you have your four sets of clamps in place, you will then use a screwdriver and a wrench to fully tighten and secure all four clamps. Inspect the bracket to ensure they are secure and straight. Locate the center of the bracket and mark it for your reference. Next, you will insert the spring nuts. These spring nuts can be a bit squirrely to install, so don't be discouraged, it may take a couple of tries. Locate the center of the bracket and insert the spring nut by pushing the spring against the back of the bracket. Then rotate the spring nut to seat in place. Line up the spring nuts so they are one above the other and centered on your wheel head. Next, you will attach the upright adjusting bar. Align the bar with the center of your wheel head and spring nuts. Insert the threaded flange bolt and washer into the spring nuts. Use a level to assist your alignment. Next, we will insert the power arm with pivot knuckle. Align the holes on the arm with the holes on the upright adjusting bar. Insert firmly and secure with the handle nut. Notice at the end of the power arm where it fits into the upright adjusting bar, you will find a small bolt. This is a leveling bolt. Use this to adjust the angle of the arm in the rest position. Next, we will install the clamping bar onto the power arm. Place the clamping bar on the power arm, lining it up with the holes near the handled end. Insert a washer and hex head bolt into each hole. The clamping bar can be attached in two different positions to allow for adjustments based on the mold you choose to use. The clamping bar is used to secure in place the profile tool. The profile tool you choose will correspond with its matching mold. To secure the profile tool, lift the clamp bar, insert the profile slug, lower the clamp bar, and secure by tightening the screws. The profile tool slug can also be adjusted in order to allow for proper alignment with your mold. To adjust the slug on your profile tool, loosen the wing nuts. This allows the slug to slide back and forth. Using a mallet can help. Now you're ready to choose a mold and corresponding profile tool. Choose the mold you wish to work with and secure it on the wheel head using the quick release bat. Place bat, then the mold. Protect the mold by placing a cloth over it while you install, adjust, and secure the corresponding profile tool. There are four ways to adjust your power arm to correctly align your mold and profile tool. First, the upright arm adjusts the height of the power arm. Second, use the leveling bolt to adjust the arm in its rest position. Number three, slide the profile tool back and forth within the clamping bar. Fourth, loosen the wing nuts to slide the slug back and forth. Make several forms, making any further adjustments until you're satisfied with the thickness and the spread of the clay over the form. After you have established the correct settings for the form you're working with, it's advisable that you note the setup making it simple for you to return the arm and profile tool to the correct positions for use in the future. By using the measuring tapes located on the power arm and the upright adjusting bar, 
Document on your template the setting for your profile tool and adjusting bar. For ordering and additional information about the Power Arm and other unique Axner products, please visit our Axner website at axner.com. Thank you for watching our YouTube videos. We hope you enjoyed them. Please feel free to subscribe so we can keep you abreast of what's happening at Laguna Clay Company. And as you'll see on the right, please scroll on to any of the videos that we have up upstage for you so you can follow what we're doing. Thank you very much.